Hello viewers of this video and wow um when you say something that um is the smallest or boasts something like that you know you have to be ready to face some competition right so this is the redstone innovation channel and you're watching the 3x3 update as well as me building the door the entire door not this one uh, the other version um, in 115 seconds which I'm pretty happy about and right so I noticed in the comments that somebody has a three wide three by three door so yep we built one there you go three three wide three by seven by ten and yeah so this is our take on it it's still one of the fastest um, is still one of the fastest three wide um, three by three doors that I've ever seen um, somebody has yet to prove me wrong on that but eh right so yeah competition is heating up this is our take on it so even if we don't get the smallest get the fastest maybe maybe anyway so yeah this video is also on Oh right, the explanation. I'm going to explain how the 3x3 works because I'm sure people have questions about that. So, flip this lever here first. That's going to push up this bottom piston here. And if you know, um, this piston won't actually pull back this block. So, so that leaves that block stranded up there. Now what we're going to do, let's actually delete that for now. So what this one, or this system does, um, this repeater powers this redstone power in this piston, and then it powers this piston here. So that means that 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 kind of effect ha happens, like boom, boom. Now what we need to do, because if you notice here, this one will retract before this one. We need to extend the delay on this, so this one will actually stay on longer than this one. So it's extended. And there's that for you. And here's the double extender circuit, uh, which is Minecraft Addict's really nice design, as I said in the 3x3 tutorial. Um, um, I started off the tutorial with that, so if you're curious on how to build that, just go ahead and look at my 3x3 tutorial. So, yeah. So that's how the 3x3 three three works. Now I'm going to be talking about alternate um, powering mechanisms for the top. Now before I had it so um, the total effect was something like this. Or I believe it was like this. Yeah, something like that. Um, and that's how all the top pistons were powered. So let's actually get rid of her squirrels. <laughs> so, whoa, whoops. Whoopsie daisies. Oh, I covered that off. Okay, so there it is. So that's how I powered all the top pistons before. But I'm going to go over how to make that a little bit more compact. Because viewers of our videos seem to enjoy compact stuff that's otherwise they wouldn't be here right so we're gonna start off with this as before uh, but now what we're gonna do is we're basically going to take this redstone lead it up like that and build over uh, this top piston here so this torch will be powering these two pistons as normal this redstone, however, is going to lead up like that to power this top one. Then this redstone is also going to be leading into this one with a repeater, which now means you can lead this redstone whoop, directly across here like that. Okay, so to, you're going to do the same thing on this side, so you're going to lead it over this top piston here like that. Go down one and connect that like that then this is still going to go down and hit the power rail and there you go 
The reason I didn't show you this in the original video is because I didn't like how this was a repeater. I wanted it to be instant along the entire thing, um, so because it's a little more in sync. I do enjoy the in syncness, not the band, but the in syncness <laughs> of this. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video, or if you enjoy the super fast three by three door building that I'll be attaching to the end of this video, I don't know. Give this video a like. It really helps us out. This is the Redstone Innovation Channel, and thanks for watching.